So, in the same day, I find out that Jon Stewart, someone who has influenced my own comedy style greatly, is leaving The Daily Show. Andrew Garfield, my favorite actor so far to play Spider-Man, is leaving. is forced out of that role. God, can anything good happen today? Oh wait, Yuya was decent for once in an episode? Okay, I'll take it. Cue title scene. So, here we are starting to get into our main tournament plot with a Battle Royale duel. These have shown up a couple times throughout the course of the series, and essentially they just are having a bunch of players face off randomly in big numbers, mostly so that way you can kind of just either organize things or get more useless characters out of the way. And case in point, that basically just brings us to our episode, which was all just this. And normally I would mind the fact that there isn't much plot development in this episode, but I was okay with it. Granted, there are many, many things that are really push my bullshit meter in this episode. For example, the whole city sticking these electronic hologram things in them, then agreeing to have parts of the city be turned into very bizarre terrains for a card game tournament. On top of that, seeing Gogan Zaka fight Anna from Frozen and Yuzu duel against the probably most racist Indian stereotype in anime since Card Fight Vanguard is incredibly weird. But who the fuck cares? yu gi was awesome in this episode. Even though I think time-wise was spent given to each character fairly, I really found myself more interested in yu gi for once. This was actually interesting because I liked getting to see him react to once again having to face these very violent people from this other dual school. And yeah, you could make the argument that it's kind of ridiculous that they're dedicated to dueling this violently. Although it's happened a couple times before in the franchise. Nothing really this hardcore. But here's the thing, you need that for this. You need people who can push these characters to their breaking point. And the thing is, when you need to keep a lot of the plot hidden and shrouded in mystery, you need to find someone who can do it without getting rid of a lot of your plot. Case in point, people who are basically the core opposite of Yuya's principal beliefs in life. Where Yuya sees dueling as a way to bring entertainment and happiness, they're just in it to win it. They are in it to be violent, they don't care about entertaining. To them, all dueling is is just a way to show your strength and power. And I loved getting to see Yuya face up against that in his duel against the first guy, and I loved seeing it in this episode. But you get that added fear of him knowing that one little slip up and he might go berserk again, or maybe he won't and he'll just lose and everything will have been for nothing. They didn't even say any of this, but they showed it. For once, they showed what was going on with Yuya. You got his drama. You understood why he was doing the way he was and why he was worried about what could happen because this is a very real situation. And I thought that was shown perfectly because it respected you, the viewer's intelligence, to figure that out for yourself. On top of that, I did like seeing Fusion. I love how Fusion is sort of like the key summoning method in this series, <laughs> even though it's supposed to be Pendulum. I like seeing everyone else get to use Pendulums. That's good because it does sort of annoy me the whole Yuya is the only one who has it and he gets this unfair advantage not to mention that he keeps getting action cards at the last minute but we got to see that turned on its head in this episode we saw people using pendulums in my opinion more effectively than Yuya does and we even saw people taking advantage of the action card dynamic to further mess with his head although I do kind of find it strange that there's no rules like there's no rules like you can't hit your opponent or appeal physical damage because these two guys really went at him, and I'm kind of shocked that no one was like, foul or something. But, who cares? It worked. I'm really curious to see where this new character goes, as it was kind of cool how he just showed up at the end there. Because even I was like, wait, there's no action card. How's he supposed to survive? Oh yeah, anyone can show up. And even though I knocked the Indian girl before, I kind of like this character. I like the idea that it's not just making her a bitch, so that way you don't feel bad when Yuzu wins. Because let's be real here, most likely Yuzu will beat her. And it was sort of just fun to watch to see a character who was just happy for a change. Someone who was the nice, go-lucky duelist. You don't really need that much investment, so when she goes, you're not going to care that much. But she's nice to have on screen. 
Although, I don't really know what the deal is with the actress. It felt like the English integration was much better with her. A lot of her mannerisms seem very odd. I don't know what Indian stereotypes exist in Japan, but I'm pretty certain this and a genie deck are pretty much using them. Again, still don't care about Gogan Zaka. I'm sure we'll see how Shun beats these guys next episode. I mean, he's fucking amazing. So overall, great episode, and seeing Yuya get relevant more than made my day back again.